Greetings everybody, welcome back. Another exciting episode, Hands On with BLG. Today is a good one. Uh, thrift store gadget test episode. Woohoo! We know you guys like those. Today, we are going to test the Ronco Showtime Rotisserie and Barbecue. Caution, hot surface. Precaution. Superfici caliente. That means it's fucking hot. It's not hot yet. Haven't turned it on. So anyways, this is an older model, obviously. Uh, 2017 had a digital thing over here. So this is pre-2017. Uh, so we got us a bird, a chicken, a whole chicken in there. He's a six-pounder. And uh, me and LAG, the old lady, we, uh, we skewered his ass up and tied his wings and legs down and stuff. Uh, I had him in a brine with some uh, milk and water and some uh, KFC seasoning, the, the copycat kind. <laughs> and uh, we put a little bit of oil on him and uh, slathered him up with some more KFC seasoning. And I injected him with melted butter. So, anyways, let's plug this bad boy in. We gave it a kind of a test run previously and it didn't catch on fire. So, figured I'll go for the whole bird. <laughs> Skewered up some legs and thighs. <laughs> so anyways, what do we got here? This says chicken, 15 minutes per pound, right here at the top. Chicken, 15 minutes per pound. We found that to be bullshit on legs and thighs. Uh, um, there's three pounds of legs and thighs, and it wasn't 15 minutes per. <laughs> but we got the whole bird here. It has to preheat. So... We got six pound bird, 15 minutes, oh boy, times six, one, two, three, four, that's an hour, an hour and a half it says. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this two hours, that'll give it a good half hour to, to, to uh, preheat and stuff and cook, and uh, we'll check on it here and there's, and eventually after two hours we're going to check temperature, yep. So let's turn this bad boy. You just spin it like this. Two hours. We're going to give him just a touch over my two hours and five minutes. See, and now it starts to go around and around. Just like this. Yeah. You can hear it. It'll squeak and make noise. It's old, people, okay? It's all right. But it'll, it'll go around and around like this. And the drippings go in that pan down there. See this pan? And uh, this is the top for it. You can actually do a little barbecue action in here. It didn't come with the baskets. They have baskets. You can do vegetables through the skewers and do vegetables and fish and stuff in a basket. But eh, you have that. <laughs> Look at that thing going round and round. It makes the house smell really good too. So this ought to turn out pretty decent, I hope. Especially being injected. Be all juicy and stuff. First time doing a whole rotisserie, rotisserie chicken. As you can tell, our, uh, our, uh, what do you call the tying up the chicken? Uh, not too, uh, not too professional. <laughs> but we got him tied down, damn it. He's not flopping around. So, yeah, it'll go around. And then these little red things, the heaters things in the back, see them back there? They'll start turning red here. It's starting to smell like it's heating up, but they'll start glowing red. So, uh, I'll show you after a little while. We'll come back out here. I'm going to go sip some beers and, uh, and, uh, watch YouTubes. We got some more fish for that fish tank today. And the dingo got to go with us. And we got some dingo food. I got to drive my car again. <laughs> it was nice. So, uh, yeah, this goes around and around like this. And those back bars back there will get really hot. And you've also got, down here, you can just rotisserieize it with no heat. When it's already cooked, I guess, just to like let it rotisserieize and stay warm but still keep turning for the juices. Normal rotation, what we got now. And you can pause right here to sear or like baste. Like that, right, like, like that, right there. Yep. So, there you go. <laughs> we'll see you, see you back here after a little while, after this gets a good start. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Update. After half an hour, you can see the all the elements in the back there get all red and hot. And there's our bird going around and around, getting all tanned up like they're supposed to. 
little dripping pans are dripping where they're supposed to dripping. And look at that. That's butter coming out of that bird, too. I shot that fucker full. <laughs> LAG held the cup, tilted over, and I filled it up the syringe thing and injected the shit out of him. Yeah, look at him go. Starting to smell really good, too. I think this one's going to be the magic one. Woohoo! <laughs> and that's only after a half hour. I only had, like, my steak, leftover steak for bar snack, and just about had my first beer finished and watched a 20 minute video. So, yeah, we'll see you, uh, we'll see you here probably after a little while and we'll see what it's looking like. It ain't looking like. That sounded stupid, but I'm leaving it. <laughs> Hey, are still going after one hour. Look at that birdie going around. The drippings going down in the drippings. Look at that bird. Going around and around in there. Rotisserieizing isings. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it says like uh, 55 minutes to go and we'll check the temperature. Hehehe. <laughs> da mama. <laughs> She's drinking coffee in the afternoon. Oh, God, sometimes I just don't know what to do with her. <laughs> Coffee. Oh, okay. Here's what we got with a half hour to go. Look at that birdie. Not really dripping a whole lot. It, I mean, it's dripping good. But that means that all the, all the good stuff's still in him. See the little red bars back there, nice and bright. Looking good, rotisserie looking. We'll see you in a half hour. Okay, folks, we've got it down. It says five minutes to go, but remember, we gave it an extra half hour. So maybe it only needs 15, I don't know. We'll check it with our thermometer. Look for 165 at the thickest part of the thigh. <laughs> that juice it bugs out. 134, 52, 62, 62. She's done! Woohoo! <laughs> now, uh -oh. I guess when it's done, you just go ahead and turn that to there. Turn that back to there. And unplug. Now, the hard part, I just need to find a, uh, you know, um, catcher thing <laughs> and something to a lid thing. You know, well, I want the juice to stay, you know, like a. Not that it was in, but it's huge. Uh, you know, a pan. I'll get one in a second, but it's not about the cooking anyway. <laughs> in fact, I want to check one more thing here. We'll check him down here at the breast. 112, 142, 160. Yeah, she's done. Nice. So, yeah, about 50, 50 minutes or so. Maybe 45 minutes. Uh. Let me think. An hour and a half it said I gave it two. So maybe an hour and 45 minutes. But it, uh, yeah, as you can see, it did a great job. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, $15 well spent. <laughs> like so if you can find 15 bucks, spend it. Uh, so like rotisserie chicken, give it a shot. I give it a, um, I give this one a 7 out of 10. Not bad. Could have been a little cleaner when we got it, but it... It cleaned up nice and it works. Not bad. 7 out of 10. So, uh, <laughs> here. <laughs> it's me, BLG. Um, friends, I'm with BLG. For BLG, I am BLG. I am lefty. I am righty. And yeah, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, Ronco Showtime Rotisserie and Barbecue uh, Review to Store Gadget Test. <laughs> We'll see you in the next video, folks. Goodbye now. <laughs> Hands on with BLG. You never know what you will see. Oh, yes, sirree. Hands on with BLG. <laughs> Stick around.